Welcome back yet again to another installment of the 5 and Vehicle Development series. In this specific video, we'll be taking a look at light IDs or misplaced coronas. Now, to show you exactly what I mean, I've got my Rebel Übertroth in here, uh, which is a custom build I did, kind of to replicate uh, BMWs like Alpina on the like the X7, X5, so on and so forth. So. To show you exactly what I mean here, I've just saved it, I'll toggle it on, and then I will force my vehicle lights on. So, now, again, this is only if you're looking for perfection in your actual vehicle mods themselves. Notice how I've got these random red dots, and they don't really look all that nice. Today we'll be fixing that. <laughs> it's a pretty straightforward process. Um, so yeah, um, you won't get it, you know, 10 out of 10 times whenever you do try to fix it. It will take some trial and error, and exactly how it will take trial and error, I'll, I'll get to in a second there. Um, basically, the different files you need for this are as follows. The car variations that matter. That is, a, that is all you need for this. So, in your car variation stat meta, you've obviously got you know a model name at the top like I went over in my previous video. If you scroll down to the bottom here, you've got uh, like mod kits. Uh, we don't need to be touching that. You do, however, have light settings and siren settings. All we'll be looking at today are the light settings. So, basically, all you have to do with the light setting here is find a unique light setting ID that would work for your car. Or if you're doing something like I'm doing here, where I've grabbed a, a law friendly vehicle from the GTA 5 files, I've modified it, and then I've, you know, thrown it back into my game. You could also simply just use the, the light settings ID from that specific vehicle. So, I'm pretty sure there is a, a way easier and better way to do this. However, the way I simply like to go about doing it is I just copy all of these. So, obviously, with the light setting ID 0192378 that doesn't work what I like to do is I just select it all I simply just like slam a few times on my numpad now I do want to ensure that I don't have any repeat numbers so I've got you know three fours here I'm just going to change up the first four to a nine and I'll change up the last four to a three so I've got four nine seven five three no repeat numbers once that's done I save my file I head back into Fiverr. I restart my resource. In this case, it's my SA Rebel Übertroffen. Restart. I load back into my car. And then check if, if it checks done. And it actually did. Okay. Well, that's kind of pleasing. Okay. Anywho, um, what will sometimes end up happening, I'll even like go ahead and try to get it to replicate here. If I just set this to 49, obviously now I know that, you know, 197353 works, so I should just go ahead and copy that in game here. I'll go ahead and BB my vehicle, and then I'll just try ID 49. I'm fairly certain this won't work, and then I'll show you exactly what happens when you get a light ID that's already preoccupied by a different vehicle, and that vehicle's light ID doesn't uh, isn't compatible for your vehicle. So obviously I saved my file, restarted my vehicle, back in game here. No, nope, still fine. Okay, wow. Well, okay. I don't think I've ever had to, to try to replicate an error or a mistake. Okay, restart it like so. Walk back in. Really? Okay. That's interesting. Okay. But anyway, I, I think you somewhat get the point. Sometimes you'll get um, light IDs that completely mess with the car. Um, sometimes your car simply just won't even cast a light out of the, the head beams or the, uh, the headlights. Sometimes whenever you, you brake or you reverse, it won't cast any light. Um, the fix is essentially the same, whether you've got messed up um, light coronas, whether your vehicle doesn't cast any light, whether that be from the headlights, uh, reversing, uh, high beams, tail lights, 
uh, indicators, you know, so on and so forth. It's all the same fix. Uh, it's done through the, the light IDs themselves. So, um, yeah, and just kind of as a bit of informative. Um, if you like this vehicle, it's available in my Discord. Um, as soon as you do join, you do have to react to a message to get verified. Kind of like my anti-bot system. I don't really think it works, but you know, it is what it is. Um, so yeah, if you need any help, if you have any kind of questions, uh, you can't really, you know, figure out how to make this work. Uh, feel free to, like I mentioned, join my Discord, go to my uh, Ask for Help channel. You also do have to verify yourself to actually type in that. Uh, comment away in the, the description, that's also perfectly fine. I do reply to YouTube comments, uh, also fairly quickly. Uh, if you liked the video, if it helped you out, please leave a like. It just kind of goes to show me that, oh, okay, this actually did help me. And I know that this wasn't all for nothing. Uh, if you would like to be notified of when I next uh, do end up releasing a video, uh, go ahead and subscribe. I also do appreciate that. I do have a goal of 500 uh, subscribers. Currently, I'm at 420. Uh, it'll probably take a while, but, you know, if you subscribe, that one subscriber is going to mean a hell of a lot for to me. So, yeah. Um, until the next video, stay safe. Like I mentioned, have any questions, need help, reach out to me on, you know, either of the ways I've just suggested, whether that be YouTube comments, uh, Discord. Uh, again, I'll leave a, uh, an invite link to my Discord in the description. So yeah, like I stated, stay safe.